recording. So welcome to another live training session, November 19th. I have to make an announcement next week. These live sessions will start to be for members only. So we're going to start to only do these in the paid <clears throat> group. Um, we'll probably do a few of the, the live sessions for free, <clears throat> or we're going to do something else for free, maybe some lessons or something like that. But we're going to save these live sessions for the members. Um, so it's been a good run getting these out on YouTube, uploading them every day, but we're going to switch it up. So some updates to come on that also updates to come on a trade copier. So if you guys that want account management, we're about to do a trade copier, do a little test run on that. So we've got some updates coming into the market or coming into our group. So just stay tuned for the updates. Um, in regards to the live session, we're about to like every time we're going to go over just all the pairs that I'm looking at for today, potentially trade. We'll look at some pairs from yesterday and we'll give out some potential entries if they're there. Um, we're mainly just going to do start our top down analysis. So we'll start on the monthly time frame, work our way down to the lower time frames, and we'll try to explain the best that we can on each time frame what we're looking for. Um, so you guys can get an idea of how we analyze and, uh, yeah, we are price action traders. So we just trade based on price action, based on what the charts show us. So that being said, I think Nick joined up. Yep. What's going on guys? What's up? Oh, I was just dropping another link in discord. All right, cool. All right, we're good. Cool. We're at, All right, cool guys. Yes. Yeah, so happy Thursday, man. Yeah. Uh, crazy. End of the week. This week flew by. Yeah, this one went by quick. So, yeah, we're going to do what we normally do, guys. Jump into these pairs, take a look at uh, what we see for today and the rest of the week. We got EJ here, looking at a little EJ action. Yeah, looking at EJ. I was talking to Brian about, or Brian was sending me some charts about EJ yesterday. Nice. Coming into, coming nice. into a little buy zone here, but we are going to get started with DXY. So let's start off up on the monthly let's clear some things up a little what's bit up, matt? So, so not much has changed here guys we're still in the same spot what's up matt we're still in the same spot here we're potentially forming this evening star on the monthly so not much has changed down to the weekly again you know just kind of looking at the overall trends we're pretty bearish on this we're all the way at this low point let's just break down what the hell is going on right in this area so down to the daily time frame guys What's going on right now is, as expected, this gap. So I just want to talk about this real quick. We we're in a downtrend overall. Now we're coming into this area. And I'm actually going to just take this off for now. Take this off. So earlier in the week we had, or I guess the end of last week we had this evening star formation right here, and you have this Doji which started pushing the downside. Doji spinning top. So these are all reversal candles. And this is all coming into this support level right here. So as you can see here, this thing gapped up. Let's go down to a lower time frame. See what's going on in this time frame. So here we can see, this is what I'm talking about. We were falling very weak down into the zone. This is all these dojis forming. And then we hit this support level. So we hit this demand zone down here. And now we're pulling back up, moving averages starting to cross. And all this tells me is that on lower time frames, the 30 minute and potentially even the one hour, this is starting to break structure. So let's hit the 30 minute first. It's a good time frame to go to. And we could clearly see we had we had this drawn out yesterday on the live session. So it's pretty much we were waiting for that at a minimum this level to break. This broke, not only broke, but it gapped all the way up. Now it's pulling back, like pulled back. Uh, pushed up now it's pulling back testing the 200 day so this thing is very much bullish on this lower time frame even on the one hour one hour broke structure right here and that was that retest now we're projecting this 200 day we're pushing up a little bit um so back up to the four hour guys so where could this potentially find resistance all the way on the four hour time frame we've got this zone right here that it's rejecting at current price and if it pops above this zone guys we are going to anticipate the next zone which would be 
all the way up here into this 200 day into these highs right here. So DXY is at a very critical critical area right now. Could certainly reject this this right now. It is still overall. Let's remember very very bearish. So we had 50% hit, pulled down. Now we're pulling back up. So this is this is the overall picture right now of DXY. This is the four hour uh, structure point, four hour resistance right there. And then we are currently in a pullback, currently hitting support. So, you know, at the moment, this thing is in the pullback. First level we're looking for it to reject is here. Next level will be back at this at these highs right now. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some other pairs and see how things are lining up. We got Yousef. We were talking about this one yesterday. Let's see what happens up on, we're just starting the weekly, just get an overall picture. Where are we at? So again, weekly time frame hitting the support level right here. We're, we're, Moving above the moving averages right now, we have this bullish, like inverted hammer candle. So this inverted hammer candle right here, this thing is actually a bullish reversal candle. So we're hitting support, we're forming this reversal candle right here. And this lines up, if DXY is going to push up, then USDCHF is going to push up. But let's take a look at the lower time frames and see when would we actually take advantage of this and enter. It's good to anticipate the move, but we got to you know, based on price action, make a decision. So daily time frame, overall bearish trend line, bearish. Um, now we're, we hit this trend line, push down. Now we're finding some support here. So let's just even go down all the way to the four hour. And let's make sure we, we stay within structure here. So we've got this high to this low, or no, not that low, this low, right here. Let's take this off. Now we came up, hit 88.6, we're pushing down right here. We were trying to get in on yesterday, just this, this trend, continuation of the lower time frame. So all the way down to the 30 minute and the one hour. Um, as you can see, this thing started to push bullish. So it rejected this level, pushed back up, um, broke. Now it's pushing up again. So we gotta sit on the four hour for this one, guys. Um, next, the next level that this thing could potentially come back into we're just looking, you know, where's where's resistance? So as we can see up here, we have this trend line. We've got the 78.6 right here. And then if we look left, we've got resistance right there, support here, support here, support here, resistance here. So this entire area right here is going to be a zone. So we can move this down even a little bit more. And I'm just gonna replace this with this. So it's not just a specific price. Um, so we're basically looking for this thing to push up back into some sort of resistance level on the four hour time frame. And then when would we go back to the lower time frame? We wouldn't go back until we start to see uh, some sort of bearish signal. So we would need to see like a bearish variation, wicks, a lot of wicks, um, some sort of bearish variation like this, a lot of wicks. So we've, we're pushing up once we see rejection of this level. Um, that's when we'll start to sell. There's no buy at the moment, guys. There's no buying for for me right now. We're just waiting on a sell on this one. It could push up all the way up into this level again. Just waiting on a sell. So I'm gonna hit the four hour with USF. We're gonna keep it up on to on the red. So that means higher time frame. Um, UCAD very similar. So real quick, just weekly time frame. Just one look. We've got the support level weekly support level, got this spinning top here that we're forming, but overall we are bearish. So let's keep that trend in mind, daily time frame. Overall bearish, we've got, this is our most previous daily resistance level. So I'm just gonna mark this up. Boom, right here. So this is our previous daily resistance level. Uh, daily structure and then if we come down to the four hour and zone in on kind of where we're at right now we could fib from this previous lower high to this low and then we've got the pullback to 618 push down now we're pulling back we're hitting a resistance level right at the moment we'll push this 
over a little bit. So we're hitting this resistance level right now. Um, so we got to see whether we find resistance here and push to the downside um, or if this thing continues to go higher and higher. So let's even break this down to 30 minutes. Just want to see. So yeah, 30 minute time frame. We've got lots of proof right now for us to look for sales. So we're just going to sit on the four hour on this one. Same with USAF. We're going to wait and see if we get some sort of resistance uh, rejection of this level bearish engulfing similar to this this is like a perfect setup right here we had bearish engulfing at a resistance level and then if we break this down to a lower time frame we could see we broke right here broke support then we pulled back and then we had a very clear entry signal aggressively up here less aggressively down here, put stops right around this area, came in around, uh, even if we put stops up here, came in around one to one, if we, we were conservative, more aggressive, um, we could have get to around two to one on this one. So looking for the same trade idea at the moment. So we'll see if it rejects this area. I think today it's gonna uh, have to play out for a little while. So for, so for new people, what exactly are we looking at? So we're just going over, um, and this is why we're about to switch up. These live sessions are about to be really for more experienced like members in the chat and specifically in the signal room, we're gonna probably do this chat from now on. Um, we're just going over all of our analysis. So if you guys um, are beginners, you know, at this point, you really gotta learn the tools first before you look at the analysis. So we're using FIBS, we're using our support levels, we're using price action. You don't understand what these things are it's it's sure it's good to hop on the session and just kind of absorb everything but it's like you got to um you got to do the training before you get into the actual session you know what i mean you got to do the background training so when you guys get in the session you could actually learn and you guys can pay attention and things make sense as opposed to like what's going on so for you beginners what we're going to probably do is we're probably going to start to do free sessions that are more just lessons, little lessons. And then the live sessions will be more for people in the signals and people in the group that are progressing and learning and uh, that are ready to apply the analysis. So good question. Um, someone put that in in the private message. So good question. So you can, I'm gonna bump this up to red right here. Let's go over to GU, so this one's looking interesting. So a lot of these GU, EU, and NU, um, we've been bumping up time frames here and looking at the weekly, look, looking at the overall picture. And the overall picture, guys, is we're hitting this resistance level. So we're coming into a, a major zone and really like we've been waiting for a reversal here. We're waiting for USD to finally gain strength and to head to the downside. So that's what we've been waiting on. As you see with DXY, it's beginning to pull back, but it's nothing significant. So let's just look at daily time frame. We've got this high point that was hit right at our weekly level. I was anticipating this to push even higher. I'm, I'm still kind of anticipating it to push higher into this level before we grab some cells and, and head to the downside. So that's what I'm anticipating, but we're hitting a double, we're hitting a double top. You know, we have this huge wick. So let's just break this down a little bit more four hour time frame, guys, the four hour is bullish. Okay, if we're just looking at structure, nothing else, the four hour is bullish, we hit this high, high or low, retesting this high, just because this is happening um, without any other confirmation, this thing is still a bullish trend, like there's no break. But considering we're at the weekly level, I'm starting to think, okay, potential double top here, rejection of this high, pull back through the moving averages right now. So we could even hit a lower time frame right now, guys, and look for a potential entry on this. So we've got this 30 minute time frame. We had this high, high or low, this high, high or low, high. So ultimately, this was the first break of structure right there. So we broke this high or low, and then we even broke this level all the way down here, as we could see. So we broke two major levels of structure on this 30 minute time frame. So when are we gonna look to enter on this? Pretty nice retest of the breach. Yeah, exactly, not bad. So yeah, I mean, we had this pullback, obviously bearish and gold, two bearish candles in a row. Um, what I'm waiting for is just, 
We're, we're right at this 200 day. We're still above the moving averages. If these start to cross, we're going to short this thing right away. And we're going to put our stops right above this level, protect ourselves a little bit. We'll put it right at, right at 40. Um, Cause remember, this is based on the four hours. So it's even, it's based on basically guys, we're looking to capture this entire move, this daily, this is a weekly zone. So if this thing does reverse off this level and we get in on it early, there's a lot of room for this thing to push. There's, as you can see, there's a ton of room for this thing to come down. Look how previously it came down. Um, so we're right in like this area, I believe. We're coming up, we're rejecting this level, whether we're gonna push lower uh, still is to be seen, but there's no reason we shouldn't try to look for an entry here. Um, as we can see, as we came all the way up to this level, that's when it ultimately dumped. So we're going to just try to play this safe, stick to the rules. If this thing does start to form rejection and moves through the moving average here, it's a, it's a high probability trade to, to enter on. It's a good trade to enter on. Just throw your stops above this level and, uh, you know, you're getting in on a decent trade there. Obviously risk like one to 2%. Don't be risking your whole account on it, but this is as a good potential um, for today. So I'm going to put GU up here. This thing could play out today. Uh, rather soon. So let's look at EU. It's going to be the same thing, guys, on EU. It's correlated really well with uh, with GU. So let's bump up to the weekly. So weekly time frame, uh, we have this high point, and I've just been uh, selling this until we break above here, 19300. I'm not going to get in on any sort of buys until we really get above that level because, again, we're at this weekly resistance level. This level is major right here this is a major level um that we have going on so i'm going to look to sell out of this zone right now that's the plan that's the plan right now and um we'll see what happens so let's bump down to the daily daily time frame when are we going to actually sell we've got this level one eight one eight thousand um that we're looking to uh respect so that's where we're at right now obviously previously rejection here rejection here, rejection here. So we are looking to reject this level again. Let's break this down to, um, I mean, just look at the candlesticks. We've got price action telling us we're slowing up at this level. Doji's here, you know what I'm saying? Then we're pulling back a little bit. Let's go down to the four hour, four hour time frame. same thing. Moving averages are starting to cross up here. Um, we're, we're moving below another bearish engulfing the last four hour candle. So let's hit the 30 minute. This thing has advanced a little bit past GU, so it's already fallen below the 200 day on this 30 minute time frame. And basically, guys, when would be the next area to enter on this? Real quick, I'm just gonna mark down these are previous higher lows that are being tested and broken right here, as you could see. Um, so we broke this level, came up, retest, really nice entry right here. That's what we're looking at on GU, same entry style like this. Um, so right now we're pulling back again. Where's the next entry guys? If we pull up to this level, that is going to be our next entry right in this area, um, right below this 200 day. So just a lower high. So this was a lower high enter even up here. This was early, you know, but this was a lower high that formed. So that's where we're looking to enter on EU. So I'm going to move this one up and then let's hit NU. All of these are starting to reverse. So let's hit the daily. We'll bump up all the way up to the weekly time frame, actually. Right up here. Boom. So weekly time frame, guys, we are rejecting this monthly level right here. Or not rejecting, we're at this monthly level. You know, we had this huge wick last week. You know, last week ended a lot of buyers exhaustion. And then as you can see, we continue to push higher. So with that in mind, let's just go down to the daily daily time frame. Very much bullish. Uh, just looking at structure. Highs, higher, low, high, higher, low, high, higher, low. Pushing all the way up into this level now. And my only confirmation right now, guys, is this week, this monthly level. This level is major resistance. Um, it's It's at a high point right now. So in order for us to actually get in on shorts without being too aggressive on this, we need to see at a minimum this four hour start to cross, move, the moving averages start to cross right here. And then following this thing crossing, I know it crossed here. 
So let's look at this as a little example. Following this crossing, we need a 30 minute pullback or a one hour pullback and then some rejection, so a lower high. So we, we're gonna see on this one, the moving averages on the four hour crossed. So what does that tell me? That tells me that the 30 minute broke structure first right here, so it broke cleanly right here. This would have been the first area to enter on, um, but then it broke through just watching the four hour waiting for the actual move, moving average to cross broke to this low, pulled back, no entry, never crosses again, never crosses again. Moving averages just maintain entire way up, all the way up until this breaks, this level right here. Um, and at that point, it's too late to look for an entry here. And as we can see, it starts to fuck around. Show, and that, I say it's too late because we break above this previous level. So let's just line this off so you guys get an idea. So as soon as this happens, we break above, this is no longer in a downtrend. This is buyers have taken control. They've broken the resistance right here. So I'm not even looking for a sell at that point. At that point, I'm bumping back up to the four hour and I'm like, okay, where are we at? And as we can see, once that happens, the moving averages crossed back to be bullish. Play forward two more. Moving averages started to cross to be bullish. So we're not looking for buys up here. I mean, sells. If anything, we're looking to buy once that happens. And then as you can see, it pushed higher. And then this is where we're at now. Very similar to this. We are, let's hit the 30 minute. Um, we had this break here. This would have been the very early anticipation of a sell if we broke, sold on this right here. 16 for 16 would have been up one to one um, at that point. So at this point now, when would we sell again? We just have to mark off. This was our support level that broke. We're hitting this bottom now and pulling back. So as soon as this thing forms a lower high, guys, if it does, then we're going to sell. Uh, we're going to comfortably sell this thing again. Um, so that's NU. So this is all the pairs I'm focusing on today. NU, I'm going to put this as orange, move this up. So it's NU, EU, GU, USEF, and UCAD. Nick's going to go over AU and UJ and some other pairs. And um, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put in the chat. We are going to switch this up next week. Uh, the live sessions are going to be for members only. They might be in the morning or they might actually be later in the day as well. And then we're going to start to do like free webinars for beginners because most people hopping on the free sessions are beginners. And I understand that if you're not learning, if you're not, like learning price action, uh, these live sessions could become a very hard to understand. So we're going to switch it up. Um, but we're still doing the giveaway. So if you guys want in on the giveaway, just put in the chat, your discord name, I'll get you guys in on the submitted on that. I'll announce the winner tomorrow or Saturday, beginning of this week. And, uh, that being said, I'm going to pass this over to Nick and he's going to get into some more pairs here. Perfect. So yeah, good analysis, Angelo. Well said with all the details regarding the session. Uh, guys, yeah, so we're going to move a couple things around. So this will technically be the last of the free live sessions, like uh, live trading sessions anyway. So let's make it a good one. Let's wrap up with DXY here. Kind of just a quick reiteration of what Angelo was talking about. We're just going to do a little higher time frame analysis and then jump to the four hour and then we'll move on to some of our other currency pairs here. So DXY is very, very bearish uh, where it is on this daily time frame, just the positioning of it, right? It's very, it's at a low. It's, uh, you know, potentially forming a higher low in a very large ascending channel, as we can see. But if you look at it in terms of uh, sentiment per time frame, we can see that we are clearly bearish on the weekly as we had a break up of a higher low here. A uh, huge amount of price action moving lower. Uh, so that's bearish. The daily is bearish as well. Uh, but we can clearly see that we're consolidating. So we're going to drop down to the four hour, get a closer look at this with this new trend in mind and kind of uh, come up with potential trade scenarios, right? So let's go ahead and clear this up. That needs to go. All right, cool. So here we are consolidating at this low, right? Nice range here between, uh, what is this? 93.8 and support being 92.5. So clearly just lots of ranging. Uh, lots of false breakouts. You know, we could see one to the downside. We didn't get a lower high to confirm it. We saw a false breakout to the upside. Didn't get the higher low to confirm it. Uh, and then again here as well. 
and on the downside once more. So very bearish overall. We keep getting these, these nice pushes. We're getting some, some lower highs within the range right now. We had a break of this four hour, pull back, another bearish leg. And it looks like we're getting a bit of a double bottom. So, I mean, this, this, is, this is tricky, but where price action is right now is definitely going to determine, you know, where we see this going for the rest of this week and potentially early next week. So I say this zone because this 92.5 handle is clearly key support, right? Let's go ahead and bring this over here. All right, clearly this is key, uh, key support or key resistance depending on where price action is. So if we get a higher low above 92.5 or a lower high below, that should give us pretty good indication as to where it's going, right? Because that'll be good conviction. If we see price action pop up, give us a higher low and then some bullish setups, that would then say to me that this is pulling back into the range and that we could be bullish on the dollar for the short, short term. Um, and then an entry or where we would technically look for an entry if we were trading GXY would be right here, right? Right after a higher low is confirmed and then we would target towards the top of the range. So if we see that happen, we'll change our sentiment on DXY to bullish for the short term, okay? However, if this does uh, form a lower high right now, let's say, you know, it's pulling back through the MAs, we get massive rejection like this wick we just pushes lower, gives us the first, uh, we could check this, there we go. Then we could be looking for shorts or confirmed uh, new bearish leg after this lower high is confirmed right around here with a bearish variation or something. And then we would look to short into our monthly zone, which is at a good confluence area around our negative 27 fib level. So that's where we would be targeting down there. All right. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. Again, it, it does depend where DX, DXY goes. If, you know, we need to wait for confirmation in the form of a low or lower high. So We'll just wait on that and then we can make a pretty good uh you know assumption as to where dxy is going all right but i mean it's definitely looking bullish right now we did recently have a gap above these ma's it is rejecting a little bit so we'll see we'll see how it plays out let's move on to au our first actual pair daily time frame to start and then we'll drop down and analyze accordingly so here we are let's zoom out a little bit all right so we were very bearish for a while Corona happened, then we got a huge correction and actually changed the trend on this correction. So uh, that took place right here at this monthly zone. These are weekly lower highs. They were broken once we started getting uh, some higher lows above this zone. So that was then a uh, change of trend from a bearish weekly trend to a bullish weekly trend. So after that, we had a pullback. We had a daily change of trend. So we went bearish on the daily for a short time. Uh, while this range gave us a double bottom and then it finally rallied on election news and now is looking bullish again. So we're going to drop down to a four hour, get a closer look. But while we do this, keep in mind, guys, that DXY and AU are inversely correlated. So what that means is if we see DXY start to fall, we'll see AU start to go up relatively and vice versa. DXY starts to you know, rise, we'll see AU start to fall. Okay, Inversely correlated. Uh, and that's true with any, uh, you know, XXX USD pairs. So anything with USD in, as a secondary, uh, you'll see that correlation be uh, relatively true. Okay, so here we are, AU, bullish on the weekly, right? We had all this ranging. We were, we were bearish on the daily once this level was broken. Now we're bullish on the daily again because we broke that zone once more. Let's go ahead and just make this a daily zone like so okay so now we're bullish we are looking for long opportunities first because we have two trends supporting this outlook this bias um so now we just need to we're going to drop to the one hour and come up with trade scenarios based on where price action is okay let's go to the one hour here we are recent break of this daily zone at 072 so this is an area of support to be aware of Let's go ahead and just adjust a couple levels here so it looks a little more clean. That looks good. Clean this up. Yeah, guys, don't be afraid to, to delete part of your analysis on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, your chart should be adapting. You know, never be afraid to just reanalyze. Like I, I clean my charts up pretty much every day. Just got to reset some things. 
adjust it. Okay, good. Good point. Right, look, good point. And right, with, the monthly, honestly, with the monthly right. and weekly levels too, it's like uh, you can leave those on for a good amount of time, but at the same time, it's like it's good to just reset things. You know, every couple weeks, every two weeks or so, because you're constant like the market's moving you're constantly changing your bias and everything so it's just good to reset absolutely it's it's you know it serves as like just a refreshing tool as well you know it is good to just reanalyze and if you know you are good at your analysis and you've come up with a good analysis once you should be able to do it pretty much an infinite amount of time so never yeah. be afraid to reset your chart and analyze and i remember when i first started training i'd set an analysis and then i'd be like scared to, to delete it. To, to delete it right yeah and that's terrible yeah. i was the same way so yeah yeah it's definitely a psychological thing you know uh to some degree you guys just gotta reset the chart even even set a rule for yourself like angelo said every two weeks redo everything it's not a big deal no and uh yeah so so yeah, a little, uh, little tip of advice there. So anyway, let's continue with this AU analysis. We are now on the one hour. We went through the daily. We went through the four hour. We identified that this is primarily bullish. And now based on where price action is, we're really looking for long opportunities first. So let's go ahead and kind of figure out what needs to happen for us to enter long. All right. So recently had a break of this daily zone. So we are bullish as we remain above that. Uh, we had a bit of a pullback here. This was a fib level that was established. Then a nice ascending channel that formed, as you can see, pretty steep. Take a look at this, right? That's a nice little uh, supporting trend line just to kind of highlight this channel for you guys, right? Very steep, then it broke. We got a pullback, lower high formed with a double top, pushed back through this little one hour level and price action fell back down to our four hour at 0727. So from here, it definitely looks very bearish. There's a lot of bearish momentum, but uh, until we see closure below the four hour, we're just going to favor long opportunities. So what we're looking for right now is essentially rejection from this current level. And then really what you want to see is some sort of like higher low, even if it's a lower time frame transition, we want to see structure form. We want to see some higher lows. So any sort of significant higher low above 0727, you could look to go long on something like this. Maybe if this was a you know, lower high and then a higher low, something like that. Okay, that would be a good enough entry right in here. Okay, boom, this is like a one hour break of support. Let's go ahead and label that one hour BOS, or break of structure rather. All right, cool. So that would be one of our first targets. Okay, followed by a target at 0734, which is our Higher time frame resistance. So this is this would be a really nice long opportunity, guys. If we saw something like this, nice rejection, nice lower time frame transition, confirmation in the form of a higher low above these MAs, could take a nice long opportunity there. So that's looking good on AU. However, if we are to look short, let's say this keeps melting, all we need to do to get in on a trade here is look for a lower high below the four hour. Ideally, you want to see the MA pull back with a cross, but you could take an entry regardless if we see a nice lower high form and then this would be your entry somewhere in here on a bearish variation boom enter target lower towards our daily at 072 stop loss would be above this four hour so honestly whichever way this goes i mean the volumes here it's not too much it's not too little it's enough to uh you know potentially enter on a you know a nice nice entry opportunity with big conviction so this is nice to see guys nice to see on uh, au right now but again, also very dependent on DXY. Notice this is at a key level. So is DXY, right? It's a key support. So you know, just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. How, however this plays out, however DXY plays out, AU will uh, probably follow suit. All right, so that's AU. Let's move on to AJ. All right, daily time from the start. We were very bearish. We moved through support here, tested as resistance. Form some lower highs, weekly lower high right here is broken on a correction after Corona. So that changed the trend on the weekly time frame, sending price action into our monthly zone where we tried to move through it, couldn't do it, didn't get the uh, confirmed higher low with, with conviction anyway. Uh, so it actually failed there, gave us a daily transition. So we're bearish on the daily, 
bullish on the weekly and now we got this descending channel which was recently broken so on that we're going to drop to the four hour we're going to break this down a little bit more so let's drop down take a look at that channel and then current price action. So, so here's that channel nice descending channel good bearish movement clearly forming structure breaking through support testing weekly structure testing daily structure forming new lows pulling back so really healthy bearish trend until this election news stepped in. And then we got a nice rally into our monthly and daily break, break of structure zone. Uh, so we got a nice rally into that. Now we have a flag forming, which is good, both good and bad. One, it's bad because this um, is exceeding 0%. You know, it's, it's we have to refib at this point. Uh, we're down at our target, zero, uh, negative 27 and also the 200 EMA. So with that being said, we can delete these fibs. We're gonna have to redraw them once we drop down. We'll do that in a second, but let's just analyze this for what it is, guys. This is a flag, a very nice flag pattern at the top of a bullish rally, right? So this is typically a continuation pattern. For those of you that know patterns, this is, this is like the most textbook continuation pattern ever. We're waiting for a transition to the upside and trying to break and retest and uh, completion of the pattern. And then we're gonna target the height of the pattern itself. So yeah. just to quickly identify this, this is the flagpole, this huge rally, and this is the correction, the flag itself. So this is just normal market movement, it's waves. So impulse, here's the impulse, this huge rally here. Here's the correction, and then we'll get the continuation. Okay, ideally, that's the, typically how the pattern works. Did you wanna add something, Angelo? No, I was just I was just gonna say that this thing's about to hit the two. What is this? The four hour? It's about to hit the two hundred lower, yep. lower that channel. So, so yeah, that'd be this so, is definitely like you said, continuation, continuation. Yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty textbook, guys. I mean, there is another level of support right here, minor level, but just keep aware of it. There's a little indecision there. Uh, this was a high, so you know a little bit of support. Two hundred EMA is there as well. Uh, we'll just see how it plays out. So let's go ahead. Drop one more time frame. I actually am gonna leave that level there just for, it's like a one hour level. Let's just leave it there. Mm -hmm. I actually liked it. All right, so we're gonna do that. Okay, 736, not bad. All right, let's drop down now. Let's take a look at this freaking pattern. Ah. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so we are Definitely bearish on the four hour, right? I mean, this is technically a bearish channel, although it is a flag. So uh, that was a lower high there that was broken. Then this is a new lower high that was formed right here. Let's get rid of what just happened. Yeah. I just moved a level that I did not mean to move. Oh shit. I hate when that happens. Anyway, uh, okay, so new lower high is right here. As we exceeded 0%, we have to redraw fibs. So let's just call it 7615. Nice psychological level. Decent enough for me. Let's get rid of that. Clean it up. All right, cool. So now we got a refib. Refibbing from lower high to a new low, which is where we're at now. Assuming this is the absolute bottom. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this. A little more. All right, cool. So this is pretty straightforward, guys. Trading a pattern is, I mean, a flag pattern is pretty easy um so we got two scenarios let's just consider long entries first let's say the pattern completes let's say it starts pushing high again we get some one hour transitions and um uh, we're looking long right so this is what we need to see ideally we want to see a transition down here first some sort of higher low but the real entry is going to take place above this four hours so there's two entry opportunities here both aggressive and conservative so let's just go ahead and highlight this. That's a four hour level. This is a one hour level right here. Pretty much seven, five, eight. Okay. Seven, oops. Seven, five, eight. Here we go. And this is a one hour level. One hour break of structure. Okay. All right, cool. So yes. So first we want to see a transition of the one hour, right? So this was our recent one hour resistance level, recent one hour break of structure. So first thing we need to see is a break of that. 
So a higher low above that one hour would be your first entry. This is the aggressive entry. And I say aggressive because we are right at our four hour resistance. But if this is going to complete the flag pattern it is, and it is going to you know, push higher, continue higher, this would be the first step. This is the very first step of this entire transition, the one hour transition. So aggressive entry opportunity there. However, if you want to wait, be more conservative, wait for the four hour break. Wait for a four hour higher low, enter in there on some bullish setups, and then that would be a phenomenal trade. Uh, probably target higher 100, 100 some odd pips, but rule of thumb is typically target the heart of the pattern. So if we rejected right now, it'd be almost 150 pips exactly. So this is what your trade would look like if you took the conservative entry, right? So about 150, a little bit higher than that even, towards the top of the zone. Somewhere like that, close to uh, 77. But either way, the, the point is that the risk reward is there. You can get well over three to one. We're looking at almost five to one right now. Two to one would be all the way down here, which is extremely protected as well. We're even be below this low all the way over here. So guys, this could be a really great trade. You can make this work for you as far as risk management goes if we see this play out. So I would feel most comfortable with this. Probably a nice four to one. Uh, risking 30 some odd pips to get just over 130. So interesting trade, very interesting trade. Very likely if we see this, uh, you know, start to transition. So keep an eye on that. However, let's go over short opportunities. Uh, I don't think there is a good short opportunity here, even if we did get a lower high right now, even if we got like that, it's not a great trade because it is so low. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend just waiting for a massive break. So let's go ahead and jump to the four hour. So we're closer to a long opportunity on a lower time frame, the one hour makes sense. You know, as we have this overall bullish sentiment, we have this flag pattern forming. So it makes sense to be closer to a one hour entry, a uh, long opportunity, opposed to a short, because we need to see more happen. So I'm gonna jump up to the four hour here. Here we are. And recommend that there are no real short opportunities until we see some sort of lower high down here right below this level at 75.35. And then of course, below this, uh, this major level at 75 flat, that would be ideal. Any sort of lower high below that could take a, a nice, nice short opportunity after confirmed lower high and then target lower. So something like this. Okay. But uh, yeah, until we see that happen, until we see a huge fall off, uh, we're looking for longs on AJ. In, in this scenario that we just covered here. This it's like two part transitions, two part break. Uh, you know, higher low one, higher low two, looking to enter on either of those. All right, so that's AJ looking pretty good. Not a bad, not a bad setup for the week. Let's move on to UJ. And UJ's pulling back quite a bit. Uh, may give us a short opportunity here, but let's start off on the daily time frame. Just going over, all, go, going over the overall sentiment, not much has changed. I mean, this thing has been so bearish. Uh, key support at 104.5, tons of lower highs leading up to that. Uh, just kind of squeezing price action. Here's that Corona rip saw. We saw a spike all the way down to 10, what is this? 101, Jesus, 101.25. So a spike all the way down to there and then it came back pretty much almost to 100%. Then continued with the overall trend uh, with more bearish movement. Right, recently breaking through this weekly, retesting, and then bouncing between 104.5 and uh, new levels of resistance. So let's go ahead and drop down, take a closer look at this. Bit of price action right here, go to four hour now. Okay, so here was that recent uh, break of the weekly, and then retest, and then we had that that bouncing, as I said, between 104.5 right here, and all these lower high and uh, new resistance levels. So you can see how bearish it is. I mean, we keep pushing lower. Head and shoulders pattern right here. Nice drop to the downside. Here's this election news. Drop down to 103. Pulls back immediately. Gives us a false breakout of this four-hour zone. Falls right back below it. Starts giving us lower highs again. So, I mean, this thing has been all over the place. Definitely been affected by volume, as you guys can see. So, keep that in mind. Uh, also on the table, you know, DXY. You know, US dollar, UJ is going to move alongside DXY uh, pretty dramatically. You know, as we see, we see this is pulling back a little bit. DXY recently kind of, you know, rallied. So here it is. Boom, there's a little bit of a rally after a drop. 
UJ, a little bit of a rally after a drop. So it's very affected by DXY. Keep that in mind, guys. All right, but we are overall bearish. So what we're going to do is clean this up a little bit and then consider some short opportunities, All right? So recently we had this break of 104.5. We had a nice, nice low established around 103.75. So from this point, we're looking to short. We know that, right? But we want to enter short only on a lower high. So this is what we're looking for. This one's textbook. This one's very, very clean. Uh, you get a nice trade on this analysis alone, guys. So keep an eye on this one. This is what we want to see. Pull back through the MAs would be absolutely ideal. Let's throw a fib on it for shits. Bet you that's a 61.8. Yep. Yep, yep. All right, so here it is. This is our entry zone between 61.8 and key resistance at 104.5. If we see rejection from here, MA pullback, some sort of indecision, and then some bearish setups, so bearish engulfing, three bearish candles in a row, evening star, something like that, crossing back to the MAs, I'm taking that entry 10 out of 10 times. That's the entry opportunity right there. Nice short, targeting down towards 103 flat. Nice psychological level, big zone. Uh, we're going to target towards there. Already two to five risk reward with a relatively low entry. So you could even get a little bit higher. You know, this risk risk reward could just, you know, lean more towards your favor uh, the higher the entry is. So here it is, three 3.78 risk reward. That's probably 3.8 if I adjust it by 0.1. But either way, guys, well beyond our target of two to one. Okay, that's all that. This is trying to show you guys. So really nice trade here. Look for this lower high, guys. Don't miss this UJ trade. I'll be stalking the shit out of this one. So be ready for that. Uh, this is the only short opportunity that I am interested in taking in. Uh, if I see this happen, I'm not going to do anything. Could very well just melt alongside DXY. So keep that in mind as well. I really want to see that MA pullback, guys. That's what really confirms structure for me. That's what really, really gives me High probability uh, setup. So wait for that damn cross. That thing is uh, sometimes a bitch to catch. It won't, it might not pull back. So we'll see. Could just form something like this where you get a quick rip backwards and then push lower. So just keep an eye on that. Um, let's go over what needs to happen for us to go long and then we'll move on to EJ. Just this. Boom. Just this. Boom. All right, cool. So to go long. You guys already know, transition above the four hour, boom. Higher low, then we're long. Okay, anything else I'm not interested in because it's so bearish. Why would I counter trend this when everything on pretty much the monthly down is bearish? So uh, I'm really not interested in the counter trend trade. However, I can't ignore this. If I get a nice lower high above this four hour, a nice confirmed, uh, I'm sorry, higher low, nice confirmed higher low, nice morning star, something like that then I would consider an entry, but only on this. I'm not like, even if I get a breakout, no higher low, I'm not going to take an entry on it. This is the only trade scenario I'm interested in going long on. Okay. But for now we're looking short. So that's good. Keep an eye on this nice lower high, massive trade over a hundred pips. We'll be watching that one. All right. So that's UJ. Let's move on to EJ and then we'll wrap it up with gold. EJ. EJ surprisingly looks a lot like Yusuf, I think. The one you were covering Yusuf, and it kind of formed like this failed like flag wedge type thing, and now we're at key support. I believe it was Yusuf. But anyway. I'm on mute. Uh, yeah. Daily time frame on it does look similar, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they they were uh, pretty correlated this. But anyway, uh Dix uh, EJ here on the daily time frame. We were very bearish for a while. Super strong bearish channel. I mean, guys, this is a daily channel here. Like, this thing is massive. Uh, so we were, we were bearish for quite a while until we got a break of this lower high right here, which was like the right shoulder of this head and shoulders pattern. But anyway, that was a weekly lower high. We broke that and then confirmed a high low above it. So that changed the trend on the weekly. So we are now bullish on the weekly time frame. When this happened, we got a nice transition, and then it rallied into our monthly resistance around 126.5. So from that point, 
He gave us a nice slow reversal, kind of like these three peaks, lower high, price action drop, and then formed this descending channel. So now it's very bearish on the daily, right? As we remain below that resistance level, bullish on the weekly. And then we got to identify this four hour level. So let's go ahead and drop down, take a closer look at this descending channel and see what kind of trade scenarios we can come up with. Four hour time frame. here we go. All right, so here's that descending channel. Here's that recent move through daily support. Retest is daily resistance. So we're clearly bearish in the daily. But I would say that this is still pretty much ranging, right? This is sideways movement. Yes, it's ranging. Yes, it's got some volume in it. But this is going sideways, right? There's no real direction on this. So, um, so what we have to do here is just consider the recent trend. So we're going to consider this daily trend first. Let's go ahead and clear this up. Because this is this level has been holding so well, it is clearly bearish. So yeah, we're going to trade based on the daily time frame, and uh, you know, kind of see what we can we can find here. So, uh, all right. So we're still between this range. We are at the low point of this range, though. Where are these fibs at? We're at 786 retracement as well. We fib from this low to this high, pushed up. Now it's pulling back. 786 retracement, good confluence area as our four hour break of structure is there as well. So from this point, this is either going to push through the four hour or bounce. So, I mean, we are favoring short scenarios. So let me just go ahead and do this one first. This one's pretty simple. Uh, short scenario, we're looking at this. Look for a lower high below the four hour. Then we're going to target towards new lows. This would actually be a really nice trade as there is a you know minor fib level in here as well. Uh, let's say it did push through. We, we, would, we, we would want to see price action get closer to 122 before pullback. Then we'll get a nice 38.2 retracement at our four hour level, right where this lower high is to form. And then that would be a nice trade. That would be phenomenal. Great, great trade on EJ here. Could enter on a bearish variation uh, somewhere in there, confirming that lower high. That would be a great trade. However, as we remain within this range, I can't help but, you know, uh, think that this could just pull back, right? So if this does pull back, what do we need to see to enter long on? And essentially, we want to see exactly this. If you look to the left here, so we had price action reach this exact zone, this four-hour level. Kind of went sideways for a little and then gave us like a one hour transition you guys can see this look at this gave us a higher low right there one hour transition it broke this lower high gave us higher low let me clear this up a little bit more whoops wrong way all right cool so gave us a transition through the ma's crossed and then took off into the uh, daily resistance at the top of this zone. So that's essentially what we want to see right now. I'm going to grab this bars pattern and kind of highlight this exactly. Boom. That's what we need to see to go along on this. Some sort of transition. And then look where this one takes place. Nice little transition here at the 200 EMA. Make this blue. Boom. Good. And then this would be our entry all in here on this bearish and this bullish engulfing. Boom. All right, so that would be our long opportunity target towards this uh, daily resistance after that transition took place. And then that would be a nice long. That would actually be a really nice trade. Really, really nice trade. You guys can see that clearly, I hope. I'll clip this up a little bit more. All right, so you look, a nice move through the MAs, nice transition, higher low, bullish engulfing, Tons of confluence there. That'd be a great entry. Let's go ahead and just mark this up for shits. Boom. Uh, called 100 pips. Nice and easy. Whoops. Why is this replay thing not working right? All right, cool. So well over two to one again. This one's closer to two to five. So yeah, great trade. Great potential trade. Let's just jump up to the daily real quick, double check our targets. Uh, if this bearish channel were to continue, for us to target a new low is very likely or very um, reasonable. You know, we'll, we'll definitely see price action get close to this weekly zone around 120.5. Uh, so that makes sense. That's good. If this breaks out, 
first target towards our daily resistance. That makes sense. And then we could even, uh, you know, look to target towards our monthly closer to our negative 61.8 fib level. So looking pretty good on EJ as well. Good movement. I like this. Uh, I like this volume that's been coming in. So this is uh, pretty easy to read. All right. So let's wrap up with gold here, guys. It is nine o'clock. This is a longer one. Uh, so yeah, we'll just wrap up with gold. Uh, let's just zoom out for a second. Overall, super bullish, guys. As you know, gold has just been kind of skyrocketing. Recently had a nice milestone once we broke 1800, rallied to 2070, gave us this descending triangle pattern with key support at 1930, recently broke that, and then the thing just went sideways. So we've been ranging for a while between 1930 and 1875. Uh, I've actually been doing a lot of analysis on this, a lot of you know talking to other traders, comparing, and a lot of people have just been trading this range and you know just playing it with kind of an adaptive strategy, kind of intraday stuff, playing a few dollars here and there. Uh, nothing crazy because again, you know, it's going sideways. So there is always volume on gold. Some, you know, gold is definitely, uh, you know, a favorite to trade, but you know, as far as trend trading this goes, it's been a little more tricky lately. So, I mean, let's just talk about this for a second. You guys can clearly see we're ranging. We had some false breakouts to the downside, false lower high, you know, false breakout to the upside with this wedge, false lower high down here as well, false breakout. So it's been kind of all over the place, but dancing around this range for the most part. So let's see where we're at right now. We are breaking to the downside again. We are back below this four, four hour level, uh, looking more bearish than anything else, right? And this makes sense because this shares an inverse relationship with DXY. So if DXY goes up, gold will drop and vice versa. So, I mean, we are moving below this four hour, below this 1875 level. So it's nice to see, but is it gonna hold? Cause we've seen it fake out so many times. So. What do we need to see to really change our mind, to really say, hey, this thing is definitely bearish now. We can comfortably take a short opportunity. And that's this right here, right? I want to see this lower high confirmed below the four hour, below 1875. I want to see that MA pullback. I'm not going to settle for anything less. And then I'm going to enter on, you know, an MA cross with nice conviction setups, uh, you know, conviction candles and so on. So that would be my entry. Looking to target down towards this weekly closer to 1825. And I think it's pretty likely. I mean, if this forms a lower high, we see Dick's Y give us a correction that we've been waiting for. Uh, this would be a nice play. This would be a really nice trade. Um, however, if this breaks back into the range here, we just got to be we got to be aware and we got to be ready to you know pull a trigger on a long opportunity, or to just just kind of see what's going on and, and wait on it. So we just got to be ready to do something. So let's go ahead and just extend these levels. And then we'll go over this trade scenario right here. Okay. Whoops. Not what I wanted. There we go. All right, cool. So if this breaks back into the range, we're waiting for that higher low above the four hour. And then honestly, in this scenario, I want a higher low above this 200. Because this 200 EMA is kind of sketchy with it's just kind of splitting this range. So I really want to see a higher low above that. I'd be really comfortable with something like this. And then uh, but could potentially take a long opportunity depending on how you know price action forms, but it could be something like this. Uh, and then, yeah, then we're long. But until that happens, guys, I mean, clearly you can see how bearish this is. As long as we remain down here, we are not interested in any long opportunities. Price action's gotta be up here for us to look at longs. Closer, uh, above 1900, uh, pretty much. Closer to 1900 for us to take a long opportunity. And then we'll reanalyze, you know, maybe take a long, see what needs to happen for us to kind of ride that out. So last step here, jump to the daily, daily time frame to go over targets, right? So if this pushes lower, if we get, you know, conviction here, nice lower high below 1875, could price action fall down towards our weekly at 1825? Yes, 100%, it makes sense. Uh, it's not that far away considering how much volume and how much movement, you know, we've covered, uh, over the last few months. So very, very likely to see this drop. However, if this does give us our transition back into this range for us to touch this daily again is also very likely. So keep that in mind, just, uh, kind of wait for those confirmations on a lower time frame and play it safe, be conservative and, uh, yeah, make some good trades. So that's gold guys. Quick recap for you. We did, I did DXY, 
I did AU, AJ, four hour time frame, UJ, EJ, and gold. All right. So some decent yep. setups, decent setups this week. Just kind of keep an eye on DXY, guys. Keep an eye on this this bastard. But uh, but yeah, anyway, that's uh those are all the pairs that we prepare for you guys. So Yep. So this is the last live session. Um not ever. We're gonna still do the live sessions, but it's just gonna be inside of the platform, inside of the paid, the premium groups. We're gonna do we're gonna come up with something else for the free members. Um, so yeah, like last live session for the free members for now. We'll give you guys some updates inside of the group chat and um we do have a black friday sale going on right now for the course so if you guys are interested in that we're going to shoot all the updates in the chat so just look out um for that and we'll get this uploaded to youtube as soon as possible in a little bit so thank you guys for sticking around for the whole entire session last day of the week so finish the week strong we'll be back on sunday we're probably what we'll, we'll keep the sunday market blitz yeah, probably. Yeah, yep. the Sunday Market Blitz will still be there. So next session will be on Sunday. And uh, again, just look out for some updates in the chats. We're about to come out with a little trade copier that we're setting up right now that you guys can connect to. It's all automated. Um, so yeah, have a good good rest of your day. Good morning if you guys are in the morning. Good evening if you guys are at night. And uh, we'll catch you guys inside of the group and on the next, the next session. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out, everybody.